This is a video for all my uh, truth-seeking brothers and sisters out there who are in the truth-seeking movement, the so-called truth-seeking movement. Um, I was uh, started out in the truth-seeking movement about six years ago, and I, I have uh, truth-seeking credentials in, in in the worldly truth-seeking movement. I uh, you know I studied all the stuff that you know Freeman, David Ike, Alex Jones, Michael Tsarian, Jordan Maxwell, William Cooper. You know I, I watched all the videos. You know I I, I know ad nauseum about um, you know the Illuminati and Adam Weishaupt and the Knights Templar, the Rosicrucians, the Freemasons, the Skull and Bones, Madame Blavatsky, Bilderberg, Trilateral Commission, the Pope, the Black Pope, the Federal Reserve, Zionism, Buddhism, Feminism, Communism, Capitalism, uh, Socialism, the CIA, uh, Mossad, 9-11, Israel, Nazis, Mormons, Zitgeist, Vaccines, Kabbalah, and Aliens. Okay? So... So I've looked into all that over the last six years. And one day, about three years ago, I sat down and and I uh and I came to find that I really did what did, what did I learn from all that? You know? I, I, I learned that I had found wicked people in the world. Now basically my basic street instincts told me that even before I even was looking into this. So, you know, I, it just confirmed that, yes, people are doing things in dark places that you, you know, and, and people are conspiring in high places and, and doing all kind of dirty work. So, you know, it, I, it did shock me, and, and I went on a, a little mini crusade like some of, some of you probably have done too. You know, I went, I, you know, I was like, you know, I got I to gotta tell, I got to tell people about this, man. These people don't know this. If they just knew that all the little systems of this world and this matrix are, are are actually like many of them most of them are designed against us really secretly you know then 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 we'll all be delivered so you know I went around and I told all my friends and family and co-workers and everybody that I could just you know everybody that would that would stand before me for for uh, at least 30 seconds you know and, and maybe if, if the subject got brought up of politics or anything I would immediately start talking to them about the wicked systems of this world and everything. And um, I found that across the board, without a, sh without a doubt, people could care less. They care less about what you're talking about, could care less about what you, the Illuminati, who's destroying them today or tomorrow, or the, their children, who's destroying the kids, makes no difference. So I was kind of disappointed about that. But I kept on myself, I kept going myself and looking into this information, and uh one day I was online, it's probably three, four years ago, I think, and, I, was, and I, was, I saw a video by Alex Jones about Bohemian Grove. So I saw the Bohemian Grove video, and it was like, oh, look at these people, man. These people, these, these people secretly are like worshiping the devil, you know? They're up on stage, and they got a Moloch, and they're burning a child or something, you know? But I didn't really understand what they were doing, like why, 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 why is it they're even doing this, or what does the ceremony represent, or... You know, other than the fact that these people, who a lot of them pretend to be like religious or something, that these people are like fooling us, you know. So, so I went there and I went back around again and I said, look, I told my friends and family members and everybody I can, that I could talk to, I said, look, look, these people, they're of the devil. They're worshiping the devil, man. They're, I mean, they're, this is this is like Satanism, you know. And they're controlling our music and our Hollywood and everything else, you know. And guess what? People could care less. Okay, I could find people. I found people could couldn't care less. Yeah, that's, that's the devil. Yeah, the devil's they're controlling the devil. They're all about the devil. Who are you gonna vote for? You gonna vote for Bush? You gonna vote for Obama? You gonna vote for? Well, actually, that at that time it was Kerry. You gonna vote for Kerry? Um, I'm vote for McCain. You know, so it was. It, it people couldn't care less that anybody you know was, you know went to a secret hideout and and put a red robe on. Or set in an amphitheater in the middle of you know the woods, and um, you know watch the ceremony. Yeah, it looked like something that was out of you know you know a, a Hollywood movie or something you know. So they they couldn't care less. So so I had to go on again myself, and and that brings me to the purpose the the actual purpose of this video. Okay, you know from I, I'm I'm somebody from your background. The, the truth, the so-called truth-seeking movement, and, I, and you'll find out why I say so-called, okay, but 
as I continued on after seeing that Bohemian Grove video, I realized that, okay, look, these people, they're doing stuff that's in the Bible. And I know I, I don't know nothing about that, the Bible, or what they're doing, or why, why is it they're doing this stuff and everything. But I just knew that I had a natural aversion to the Bible. I had a natural, like, like no way. The, the Bible is control, and the Bible is... is it can't be true. It couldn't be because it's 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 controlled by these same people, okay? And then I, as I was sitting down thinking about that one day, I had to think, I was like, okay, well, why is it that I th even think that? You know, I had discovered that everything that they taught me in school, okay, was of them. All the the stuff I played with, the stuff I watched on TV, the scholastic books, and all the other books are all of them too. So I I had to think, well, why is it that I naturally have this aversion to the Bible, okay? Even though I want to find out the information from it, but I have this aversion from it, okay? That that natural feeling that I had, okay, had to have come from them too. I had to have been raised, raised up to conclude what I concluded because they had so much control over everything in my life. So I went down to uh, B. Dalton Books one day, and I was like, you know, I just want to find out exactly what it is that they're doing out of the Bible, and why is it that they're doing this, and what, what's it all going to come to one day? So I went down to B. Dalton Books or something like that, and I got myself a Bible, a King James Bible. This is about four years ago, and I discovered something. And this is what I want to tell you, you people are in the truth movement. I hope you listen to me because you know I've raveled off. I, I, I know all the stories, all the stories that, that, that are regurgitated. And I discovered something. One of them is Freeman and David Icke and Alex Jones and Maxwell and, 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 all, and all the other people. I'm not, there's, there's, there's a ton more people that should be on that list. But all the people that make these videos and stuff, okay, they give no glory to God. As a matter of fact, they have a nice story. And they take you the story and they show you truth. And they're going to show you truth and show you truth. And then they steer you off when it ever comes to Jesus Christ. Okay? Or they, they throw out the baby with the bathwater and say, well, you see, all this system is wicked. And look at these Catholics or Mormons. So, therefore, that must be wicked too. You see? These people, folks, are deceivers. They're not truth seekers. Okay? The fact that they... They, they gain so much prominence in this whole so-called truth-seeking movement should tell you something. Because this movement, and I call this system by the biblical name, the beast. This beast system, okay, is all-inclusive. It includes everybody. No, nobody has escaped. Nobody's putting out information that's outside of the beast system, okay, because the beast won't allow that. Uh, the people that tried are, are, are dead or in jail. Okay, so nobody's putting out counter information on on YouTube that's just unbelievable, wow, and that's going to save us. Okay, this stuff will not save us. You can you can study all the stuff that I've outlined ad nauseum until you're just tired and bored of it. Okay, that's what happened to me, and and you won't be saved one bit. Okay, Jesus is the Christ. Okay, believe in Jesus as the Scriptures say, and you shall be saved. The way out of this matrix, the door out of this matrix, is Jesus, Jesus Christ. This is the way you're going to get out of this matrix. You have to free your mind and your heart right here. The exit door is Jesus. Your efforts are futile in and of themselves. Uh, and, and I want to tell you something about this beast system, okay? If you, were, if you go to scripture, you can see that the beast is going to dump this system. This system is about to get dumped, okay? But he's going to he's going to expose everything. You see, YouTube is not exposing things. They're not This is not something that the powers that be didn't know about this. Oh, of course they did, okay? They planned this. They made this, okay? So they made the system to be exposed so they could take it all and wash it away and make it feel like you've got a victory. Yay. But guess what? The system that's coming after that, okay, is going to be your your true spiritual destruction. That's the one that's coming. So, so I, I, I want to warn you about that, but I want to exhort you to, 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 to learn the truth. Go to a real truth-seeking movement, and that is the scriptures, and that is Jesus Christ. Be one peg of light, not a peg of darkness. All kinds of pegs of darkness fill this world right now, and they're not going to light up and deliver anything in this world right now. Okay? I just want to leave you with one more little message before I go here, and that's 
and, and this is something in the scripture here. This is John chapter 3, verse 17. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the, condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, and neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought of God. If you are a true truth seeker, come to the light. And that light is Jesus Christ. Good luck.